Great, let's move on to creating some sauces. We're going to list a lot of ingredients, so you may want to take a sheet of paper to write them down. You can also play this back at a later time to get the details. Tell us, what are some of the special sauces that can be created from these seasonings? Some of these exciting uh, sauces can be used as a seasoning to a dish. Also, you can change the proportion of these ingredients to make different tasting sauces. Thus, it creates an unlimited variety of sauces for any particular recipe. Here are the three sauces that you can make for yourself. The first sauce that you that will make is the aromatic dipping and seasoning sauce. Ingredients are three tablespoons of light soy sauce, three tablespoons of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of fresh chopped ginger, one teaspoon of chopped fresh garlic, three tablespoons of heated peanut oil or other oil. Preparation. Combine the light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, sesame oil, chopped ginger, chopped garlic in a small bowl and mix it well and set aside. Now heat three tablespoons of cooking oil in a saucepan to 450 degrees. Pour the hot oil into the mixture in one motion and stir well. You will notice an aromatic smell on this. The sauces you can use as a seasoning or as a dipping sauce and can be saved in the refrigerator for a week. The second sauce, we'll talk about in mild, spicy dipping and seasoning sauce. Ingredients, two tablespoons of oyster flavor sauce, one tablespoon of chili paste with garlic with salt in a small jar, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two teaspoons of ginger root, chopped very fine. Preparation. Combine the oyster flavor sauce, chili paste with garlic, sesame oil, and chopped fine ginger in a small bowl. Mix it thoroughly. You can use it as a dipping sauce or add it to your final cooking process. The third sauce and final sauce is mildly sweet and spray on mushu pancakes. Ingredients are three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of sweet bean sauce, two tablespoons of plum sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and half a teaspoon of chili oil with salt in a small bottle. Preparation. Combine the hoisin sauce, sweet bean sauce, plum sauce, sesame oil, and chili oil in a small bowl and mix it well. This sauce is, is for mushu pancakes and is served with mushu pork or Peking duck. You know, if you cannot find these ingredients in your Asian grocery store, you can look at one of our cooking packages. It comes with all the Chinese ingredients so that you could make Chinese dishes for yourself in the comfort of your own home. Just visit walkfusion.com for more information. I know that there's a huge list of spices for Chinese cooking. It takes several hours to discuss all of that. So let's talk about some of those popular spices in Chinese cooking. There are lots of spices in Chinese cooking. I will name some of the most common ones, and they are star anise. It is an eight-corner star shape, and it has a strong anise or licorice scent used in red cooking. It is one of the most popular spices in Chinese cooking. Fennel seed it is similar to the cumin seed, but it has a distinctive fragrance of anise seed. It is a very pungent to a nostril when you put close to your nose. Five spice powder. It is normally used in marinating and sauce making. When you put it in close to your nose, you can smell a combination of five or more different aroma. Cloves. It's a very pungent, fragrant spice used in stewing or roasting. In a powder form, it has a sweet aroma. 
Sichuan peppercorn. He has a slight, hot taste and used in stewing and red cooking. It is very aromatic when you grind it into a powder form. 